Wes, Harmin, friend, and welcome to another video. And justice is being served, my dear friends. Finally, finally, justice is being served. Welcome, my dear friends, to European lore. If you are here for the first time, a channel of a humble European fella who likes to rant about fantasy on the internet. A man who has devoted his entire personal and academic life to the finer things, to the greats of the fantasy genre of the 20th century, as well as old English literature and language, and that is why my channel is from a huge part devoted to defending these great stories against vile creatures of Prime Video, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, and so on and so forth. And we know by now how bad the Rings of Prime is, as I like to call it. Not only does it not contain anything that would even remotely resemble Tolkien's writings, but it is very bad on its own. And the same thing can be said about the acting. Now, a lot of people are saying that, oh, it's the script. Well, no, it's not only the script. It's everything, really. Most of the actors in that show are planks of wood that can't play or act for their lives. And those actors who had some potential, uh, they are being overlooked. Uh, there are two actors, in my opinion, in that show that had potential and that are very good at what they do. And uh, if anything they deserve an award or anything, and that is uh, Jason Maul, or whatever his name is, Uncle Benjamin from Game of Thrones, who played Ardor, Amazon's original character that they made up, the first orc, apparently, the first corrupted elf, who was corrupted by Morgoth, the first Dark Lord. Well, looking past the, the absolutely nonsensical made-up lore, his performance was all right, and uh, if that show was not called The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, but something else, I would say, well, that guy is cool, he deserves an award for a supporting actor. And uh, then the other one is Durin the Fourth, which of course, once again, is absolutely wrong, because his father is Durin the Third in the, in the show, and we know that according to the Legendarium, there are no, or there have never been, two... Durin's living at the same time, because according to the Dwarvish, uh, well, really lore and history, legends, uh, Durin's are basically the reincarnations of the original Durin. So, uh, there you go. But, once again, if I had to give an award to somebody, it would be either Maul or that guy who played uh, Durin the Fourth. Now, there was the uh, Critics' Choice Awards uh, being given uh, just a couple of hours ago. And uh, there was no Rings of Power nomination, uh, except for one. And that is around the year, Ismail Cruz Cordova was nominated for the supporting actor in uh, a TV show. Now, why do you think that was? Well, of course, because of the diversity quota, otherwise I can't imagine why they couldn't have uh, really nominated more or during the fourth because they are both white guys. So they needed somebody like that in a, in a, in a supporting actor role. Because if you really look at the entire performance of Mr. Cordova right there, like, I don't care what he looks like. I don't care what his uh, ethnicity is. I just, just really don't care. What I care about uh, as far as actors go, if they do their job properly. Now, and he did his job absolutely horribly. Now, he is one of those planks of wood that I was talking about. I mean, do you remember those scenes? Don't go down there. You, you don't know what there is. That's precisely why I must go. Uh, right. Okay, so why did they nominate him? Yes, because of the diversity quota. And because we saw in the show um, <laughs> an elf of color in chains. And um, that should, for some reason, strike our hearts. And that scene, when he had to fell the tree, <coughs> even though it would be much quicker to j just go around the tree, it's just one of the plot holes that was in the show, of course, the, the show was full of them. So, let us be honest with ourselves for a little bit there. There was no other reason to nominate Mr. Cordova than just to fill the quota. Uh, why didn't they, for example, nominate uh, the Disa chick, uh, once again, Amazon's original character? And that name Disa, 
Uh, it only appeared in uh, the Legendarium in a different form, and that is Dees without the A uh, in the end. And that character was the mother of Kilion and Philly, those dwarfs from The Hobbit. And she has nothing to do with that Amazon's original character, who apparently, according to Amazon's Legendarium, it was her who discovered Mithril. <laughs> Alright then, fine, fine, fine. Because if I had to choose between Mr. Cordova and, uh, well, yeah, Sofia Nonviti, that's her name, I would have to choose Sofia Nonviti. Because I believe that if she was uh, a dwarf princess, something or other, in Amazon's original show that wouldn't be called The Rings of Prime, I would say, yeah, she's quite cool, you know, she's funny. Um, she's got very good uh, chemistry with uh, Durin the Fourth. Their exchanges, their, their dialogues are, are quite amusing. But then again, no, we are talking about the attempt to desecrate Tolkien's work, uh, and then uh, that cannot be forgiven. But she wasn't nominated. It seems to me that Mr. Cordova is the man from the show that is being pushed the most by, by the media. Uh, and that, of course, once again, we know why. But one more thing, my dear friends. Um, this uh, win, this shall continue. Uh, the Rings of Power has almost been forgotten. No, n not many people are talking about it. It is not being nominated for many awards and definitely not as far as any important categories go. And even though, even though uh, all awards today are just uh, virtue signaling, uh, um, bought and corrupt crap shows that we cannot really trust not the Academy Awards, you know, the Oscars, not the Golden Globes, not the Emmys, nothing. Uh, this at least shows that it is it's just a little bit, a little bit, there is a little bit of justice in the world. Because the award for the supporting actor was in the end given to, uh, what was his name, Giancarlo Esposito, the guy who played uh, Gaz in Better Call Saul, and previously, of course, in Breaking Bad, and the guy who played... Uh, the new Imperial uh, officer, Moff, some kind of Moff in The Mandalorian. So, and he is objectively a very good actor. Now, I was, of course, rooting for Matt Smith from House of the Dragon because I haven't seen Better Call Saul yet. I have seen Breaking Bad and thoroughly enjoyed it, but I haven't seen Better Call Saul yet. But people are telling me that it's very good. And that Giancarlo Esposito is, of course, once again uh, doing his best and uh, his performance is extraordinary. So I'm glad that uh, at, at least, at least, we can again have justice as in this case. So what do you think? Would you have given the award to Mr. Ismail Cruz Cordova, uh, a Ron Lear character, for just being him? Or would you have given the award to somebody else? And that will be all. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and Namarie.